Sometimes after work, the only thing I want to do when I get home is sit down, relax, and enjoy my free time. Fortnite has a really good job of making this not achievable. This game makes me so upset at times, it makes me want to actually uninstall the game and never play it again. So instead of making myself upset for the night, I decided to look at some posts on Fortnite BR's Reddit. If you guys want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. But let's jump over to the Reddit and see what's happening over there. No way bro belly laughed at me and then flexed his two crown wins. Okay, clearly just got absolutely destroyed. There's nothing you could even do there. <laughs> when does he... Oh. <laughs> oh, man. This is me. This is actually me. I don't know if this is only a me thing, but I actually never pick up the crowns in Fortnite. I genuinely could not care less. Maybe that's just a me thing, but it's such a weird thing to flex to me. Let me know if you guys also do that because I just... I, I don't care. I don't care. This one's actually kind of a tough question. Which skin do you thank your younger self for getting? If I'm gonna be honest, this one isn't a specific skin, but my favorite battle pass of all time is my first battle pass, which was season three. I don't use a lot of the skins from that battle pass anymore, mainly because I have better ones now, but all of those skins, including John Wick and the Lava Astronaut, all hold a special place in my heart. Also, I've said this before, but the Scythe pickaxe is one of my favorite pickaxes ever, and I'm so happy that I got it after years of waiting. Nobody believes me when I say bots are scared. Some of the bots in this game are actually crazy. They randomly get amazing aim out of nowhere. Which I'm assuming is what this video is gonna be. He's got oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He got lasered by crepe salad. Jesus. This post says, what has been your favorite mythic drop spot? You guys know me. You guys have watched my videos. You guys have watched my Road to Unreal series. I hate dropping populated spots. It might be because I suck, which is a completely valid argument. However, killing Peter Griffin is one of the best feelings in the entire world. Never in my life did I think I could kill Peter Griffin in a video game, but in 2023 slash 2024, here we are. Definitely one of my favorite spots and definitely one of my favorite collabs that they've done. I've been saying this for a couple weeks now, but I really think The Simpsons would also be a great collab in Fortnite. That's just me. That's just an idea. If any of you guys work at Epic Games, put in a good word for me. I got a lot of ideas up here. This is actually an interesting discussion post that I just found. This post is basically saying how he is constantly out of sprints. He never has enough energy to get anywhere before running out. It is not nearly enough. I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I actually really agree with this. For some reason, I feel like I will be spamming my shift key, aka my run key, and I want to say about 75% of the time I am out of sprint. I don't know if it's because I'm jumping or because I'm sliding or whatever I'm doing that is eating up my sprint, but even then, it feels like I run out way too quick. I catch myself jumping a lot when I'm sprinting, which does eat up a lot of your sprint. So if you guys find yourself running out of sprint, maybe stop jumping as much. But even then, I feel like jumping shouldn't eat nearly as much as it does. Maybe they should look into changing this or just make it so that jumping doesn't eat up anything at all. That could also be a possible idea. Regardless, I feel like I also run out of stamina too quickly. Maybe I need to stop running everywhere. Maybe I need to lose some weight. I don't know, dude. Save your hairline. Why is this getting recommended to me? Why am I the target audience for this advertisement? I'm not even balding. <laughs> what the fuck? Here we have a discussion post complaining about snipers. What else is new? This guy said the combination of a short range scope plus angled grip attachment is what is causing all of these problems. A good player barely misses a shot with those attachments. Plus three bullets is insane. It can be five with a drum mag, which is even worse. I have heard arguments for snipers for the entirety of my lifetime playing video games. Oh, it's a one shot kill. Oh, you have to. Oh, it's, it's too easy to use. Oh, there's too much aim assist. Everybody stop and take a second and look at what snipers are. Realistically, if you are in mid-range fights, if you pull out a sniper, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to lose that fight. If you hit a body shot, that is 116 damage, and then you have to switch guns very slowly because the sniper takes a long time to go back in your inventory. And then you have to manage to scrape by with the little amount of health that you have left over from getting absolutely destroyed by a shotgun because once again, you are mid-range, or even for that matter, a submachine gun. And then you somehow have to manage to kill off the rest of their 100 health to finally get the kill. Saying that snipers are too good at mid-range fights is a very, very bad take. He said a good player barely misses a shot with those attachments. Well, yes, there is a skill gap in the game. If you are good with a sniper, then yeah, people might use the sniper. I'm surprised this person hasn't brought up shotguns. He said a good player barely misses a shot with those attachments. Yet, if you look at shotguns, they have the exact same skill gap. Yeah, you could have a drum mag on it, which increases the magazine size, but you can also add a laser sight and a bunch of other mods that reduce the hit fire accuracy. So yeah, a good player with that gun as well can also deal a lot more damage mid-range. It's not necessarily the gun, it's more about the player that's using it. This player is basically arguing that the skill gap in the game is too good. My bad, let me just be bad at the fucking game. 
As someone who snipes in almost every single game that I've ever played, I hate when people argue that snipers are too overpowered. The skill gap of aiming with a sniper is still there. Is it easier to achieve that skill gap because it is a one-shot kill in most games? Yes, but at that point, it is a skill gap. It is not a weapon gap. The thing about shotguns is that they are inconsistent. The skill gap is now with the gun rather than the player. You are now outweighed by a laser sight or not having a laser sight alongside the player and the other player that is getting shot by the shotgun. In that case, yes, I could 100% see the argument for nerfing laser sights or whatever else on the shotgun. However, the snipers are consistent in what they hit. If you hit a body shot, it is 116 damage, depending on whatever gun. If another player hits you, it is also 116 damage. A body shot is a body shot and a headshot is a headshot. Regardless of the weapon, regardless of the attachments, the damage is almost always the same. Once again, with rarity, variation, whatever, it's a green will hit less, that's obvious. Your ACOG scope is the exact same ACOG scope as someone else, your body shots are the same exact body shots as someone else, and your headshots are one shots just like everyone else. If you're getting mad at the gun, I'm sorry to say this, but maybe get better with it. This person basically just argued that a good player that is better than him can barely miss a shot with those attachments. Yes, because his aim is better, but if your aim was also as good as his, you would also be dealing the exact same amount of damage regardless of where you hit them. Once again, a body shot is a body shot and a headshot is a headshot. Unlike other guns in the game, where a lot of their damage is dependent on where you hit them and how many bullets you hit. Like I said earlier with shotguns, your body shots are not the same as someone else's body shots. You could hit three bullets and deal 90 damage. They could hit five bullets and basically one shot you. Snipers are consistent from player to player. You just need to hit your shots more. I'm sorry to say, but this discussion post is a horrible take. A contender for the stupid deaths hall of fame. Okay, he's on a mountain. This is not a good start. Okay, what are we doing? How does he... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked off the edge. That was no one's fault but your own, dude. What the hell? I'm a bot and I don't care. Okay, you're clearly not a bot. Oh my god. What? What? Hold on. <laughs> you are not a bot. <laughs> oh, okay. He pulled out a right shield. Maybe he is. How is he playing this? Oh, whoa. I was gonna say how is he playing this, but he's playing very aggressive apparently. Okay, and he got the win. To me, it didn't seem like you were much of a bot. Maybe your movement could improve a little bit and maybe drop the riot shield. Other than that, this was a perfectly fine clip. Is there any way to level up faster? Well, I'm here to tell you that there is. Rocket Racing and Fortnite Festival actually give a lot of XP. Also, if you do LEGO Fortnite, it also gives an insane amount of XP. If you guys need extra XP to finish out the battle pass, go do those. If you guys don't want to do that, then just do the match quests inside your Fortnite games and you'll just level up over time. What's the use of rocket ammo now? This is actually a great question. What is the use of rocket ammo? <laughs> There's no rocket launchers in the game anymore. Why do they still give rocket ammo? Why does this happen after one match, everything on PC? <laughs> oh my god, he has potato graphics. Dude, there's definitely something wrong with your driver. <laughs> These are the worst graphics I've ever seen. Yeah, man, go update your graphics card. Jesus Christ. There's definitely something wrong with your PC. Maybe uninstall and reinstall the game. Or maybe just uninstall it and never reinstall it. This game pisses me off so much, I would honestly do the second option. Anyways, I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.